Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a LoRa weather station. In this weather station, I am using DHT11, BMP280, LDR sensors at the transmitter side and an I2C LCD display at the receiver side to show the received value. Also, I have attached an LED to show the indicated value has been sent. These values would be converted to a string and sent by the LoRa module. This is the LDR sensor which gives values according to the light intensity. This is the DHT11 sensor which gives temperature and humidity. This is the BMP280 which gives values on altitude and pressure which would be I2C communication. I have also attached an LED which indicates values has been sent by a blink as you can see over here. This is the RFM95 LoRa module. This is the Arduino Nano over here and this is the I2C LCD display along with the RFM95 LoRa. This video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial supplies of electronic components in India with high quality products and a wide variety of category to choose from. After that I gathered all the components for the project, the LoRa, LDR, I2C LCD display, DHT11 temperature humidity sensor, BMP280 and an LED for indicating the sending values. In a previous video I have shown how to interface this LoRa module with Arduino. I will post the link in the description, go check them out. After that I connect the I2C LCD module to the LCD display. Then I place DR sensor to breadboard, the DSC22 sensor to the breadboard, LED. After that I hook wires to the breadboard. You can get the circuit diagram from link in the video description as you can see. You need to check the continuity of the jumper cables before wiring so it would be more easy. This is the Arduino code for the LoRa weather station. First I have included all the libraries, the SPA library, the LoRa library, the DHT library and BMP280 library. Then I defined the pins of the modules which has been connected. After that I have set some variables like float, pressure, altitude, LDR, everything. Then I initialized the DHT sensor, DHT pin and type. After that I have created a random number to avoid transmission loss during the first digit. As we have sending the numbers via LoRa, the first digit would be getting lost. So I had avoided the problem by creating long range number. After that we get into the void setup and we begin the serial at 115200 then we have the random seed from the analog read after that we begin the DHT sensor after that we begin the BMP sensor if BMP sensor is not working it should write us could not find a valid BMP sensor you need to check the wiring after that I have initialized spin mode LDR as output then we print something in the serial monitor as LoRa weather station and we begin the LoRa at 9156E and we enter the volt loop. Inside the volt loop we serial print a line. After that we serial print sending packet and random number. After that we get the values from all the sensors. Then if the DHT sensor fail it would show like fail to read from DHT sensor. After that I convert the values to a string like string data string equal to string data value plus string temperature plus string humidity plus string value and pressure. After that I serial print the data string then the LoRa will send the data string via the sending function and we end the packet and the counter adds with a delay of 3000 which is 3 seconds. This is about the Arduino code. Let's upload the code. This is the LoRa receiver code. As you can see first I have included all the libraries. The wire library, LoRa library and LCD liquid crystal library. Then I initialize the liquid crystal library. After that we enter the void setup. And the serial begin would be 115200. And first we begin the LCD. And we set the cursor and we print LoRa weather station by Cyanomodif. After if serial is available, as you can see while serial, we will print 
serial dot print LoRa weather station by Cinemodif in Arduino serial, and we begin the LoRa with the function and the value of 9156 megahertz. After that, we enter the void loop. Inside the void loop, we have the string packet. Then we have the LoRa price packet which has been sent, and we print the received LoRa packet with the function LoRa dot print and we would require for the LoRa dot available. After that we separate the function because it's a string function value which has been received and we format it like in first comma index in second comma index with the value of this. It would separate where it see a colon and we save the string values to another string called first value, second value, third value up to sixth value. As you can see first value and we print the first value and save it to the first function and we serial print temperature humidity pressure altitude and we print the corresponding value since we can't print the first digit like which was a random number to avoid the transmission loss we have to be printing from the second value as you can see i'm serial printing from second value third value fourth value fifth value and sixth value these are all the values after that I print them on LCD with the function lcd.print temperature and within the serial print ln the values. This is the Arduino code for LoRa receiver. Let's upload the code and see what's going on. This is how you can make your very own DIY LoRa weather station using LoRa and different sensors. Right now I only use LDR DHT22 sensor BMP280 but you can include more sensors. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.